Okay, in this example, I'm going to graph the function y equals 2 times secant of 2x plus pi over 3. We'll graph one period of that, and then we'll also pick out the vertical asymptotes and zeros, if any. The first thing I'm going to do is rewrite this. I want the coefficient on the x in the parentheses to be equal to a 1, so we have to factor out its coefficient. So if we pull the 2 out, we'll have x plus... I guess we would need pi over 6. 2 times pi over 6 would give us pi over 3. And the reason why I want to do that is I want to determine the period of my new of my of my function that I'm going to graph. So the period for secant is 2 pi and we divide it by the absolute value of b, which in this case is 2. So 2 pi over 2 is simply going to give us pi. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph I'm going to graph the function 2 times secant of 2x. And then once we have that, I'm going to apply a horizontal shift and we've got a, a positive pi over 6. It's going to shift everything to the left by pi over 6 units. So I'm going to graph 2 times secant of 2x, and then I'm going to shift everything left, and that'll give us the graph of uh, the original function here. Okay, so let's graph... Let's graph 2 times secant of 2x. So... If we substitute in, for example, x equals 0, at x equals 0, secant of 0 is going to be equal to 1 times 2 will give us 2. Now, normally for secant, to get the, uh, to get the asymptotes nearest the y-axis, we go over to pi over 2, and then to the left we go to negative pi over 2. But that's when the, the, the function has a period of 2 pi. In this case, we only have a period of pi, so what's going to happen is the asymptotes won't be sitting at x equals pi over 2. One of them will be at pi over 4. And likewise, we'll have another asymptote at x equals negative pi over 4. There's y equals 2. And secant is just going to increase as you move to either side of the y-axis. Let's also go ahead and graph, uh, so that's part of it, that's not a complete full period yet of 2 times secant 2x, we'll need the uh, portion where it's opening downwards. So notice from negative pi over 4 to positive pi over 4, that's a distance of pi over 2. So to get another asymptote, to get our next asymptote, so again I'm saying that this distance here is pi over 2. I'm going to go over another pi over 2 units to get my next asymptote. Well, we're already sitting at x equals pi over 4. So pi over 4 plus pi over 2, or equivalently 2 pi over 4, that's going to give us 3 pi over 4. Okay, so there's another, uh, another asymptote. Right in the middle, right in the middle, so in between pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4, that'll be pi over 2, and now for the graph of 2 secant 2x, at pi over 2, we're going to hit the value of negative 2, and then it's going to open downwards. Okay, so those, this is going give, to give you one period of the graph of 2 times secant of 2x. So all I'm going to do to get the new graph is just take this and again, I'm just going to shift everything to the left by pi over 6 units. So let's see if we can't do that here. So now it's just a bit of arithmetic. So originally we had this point at 0, 2. So that's now going to be at negative pi over 6, 2. And let's figure out the new, uh, let's take our, the original two asymptotes that we came up with and let's move them to the left as well. So originally you had x equals pi over 4. 
as one of the asymptotes. So if we take pi over 4, if we take pi over 4 and subtract away pi over 6, let's see, that'll give us 3 pi over 12 minus, we'll have 2 pi over 12, and that'll leave us with 1 pi over 12. Likewise, you had negative pi over 4, and if you subtract away pi over 6, that's going to be negative 3 pi over 12 minus 2 pi over 6, and that'll give you negative 5 pi over 6. So that'll be the location of two of our asymptotes. So the first one we said was that x equals pi over 12. So I'm just going to put that right there. So there's x equals pi over 12. And then we said the other one was at negative 5 pi over 6. So definitely the, the scale on my, my graph here has changed a little bit. So forgive that. So we'll make that x equals negative 5 pi over 6. And then it increases and it increases. Okay, so one more time, the scale on my x-axis now here has changed. Uh, so note that um, before I went over 4 units to get to pi over 4, and that's certainly not the case here. So just be aware of that. Um, again, and this is why it's important to label your graphs. Um, as long as the labeling's correct, that's what we need to be careful about. If we move the other asymptote that was at 3 pi over 4, we had the asymptote at 3 pi over 4. So again, if we move it to the left by pi over 6, well, let's see, top and bottom by 3, that'll be 9 pi over 12. Top and bottom by 2, that'll be 2 pi over 12. That's going to give you 7 pi over 12 as the location of your new asymptote. So there's x equals 7 pi over 12. And right in the middle, right in the middle, um, that's where you're going to hit the value of negative 2. It's going to decrease and decrease. And again, if you want to find that new coordinate, you could do the same thing. You could take pi over 2. Subtract away pi over 6. So let's see, I guess that's 3 pi over 6 minus pi over 6. That'll give you 2 pi over 6, or equivalently, pi over 3. So just a lot of arithmetic here. There's pi over 3, and that would be our new graph. So again, uh, let me say it one more time. I definitely changed the scale on my, on my new graph. Otherwise, again, you, all you're really doing is just taking the exact graph you had before and just nudging it uh, just a little bit to the left, uh, the asymptotes, the graph, everything, to get the new graph. So there's one period, though, of the, the function that we set out to graph. Uh, 2 times secant of 2 times the quantity x plus pi over 6. And if you want to find the... If you want to find the zeros, well, in this case, it's not going to cross the x-axis, so there are no zeros. So for the zeros, there are none. And for the vertical asymptotes, the first positive vertical asymptote occurs at pi over 12. Notice to get to the next asymptote again, we went a distance of 6 pi over 12, or pi over 2, just like we did before, which makes sense. So to get the vertical asymptotes, they'll occur at the values of when x equals pi over 12 plus pi over 2 times n, where n is an, an integer.